For nearly a decade, the rusting hulk of the new Carissa sat motionless and empty on this lonely stretch of beach. It ran aground here during a storm in February 1999, a victim of bad timing and human error. With this storm coming up, uh, there is a chance that she will just pound herself to death in those, in those seas. If that happens and if it starts to happen, there's absolutely nothing we can do to stop it. The captain and crew were powerless in the gale that morning. They dropped anchor and prayed, but the ship foundered and came to rest about three miles from the entrance to Coos Bay. And this is a, an environmental disaster if we sit back and just allow this to flow into the water. Four days later, just as everyone had feared, two of the five fuel tanks on the ship began to leak. Over 70,000 gallons of thick Bunker C fuel oil and diesel spilled into the water and onto the beach one of the most serious oil spills in Oregon history. You know, they hurt plant life, they hurt uh, you know, the fish, uh, animals, birds, things like that. Massive flames coming out of the new Carissa, 200 feet high. A week later, the Coast Guard set the ship on fire, officials figuring they could burn off the fuel that had been fouling the coastline. And at first, they were optimistic. All indications are that the detonation was successful. Instead, the explosions caused the new Carissa to break in half and separate in the surf. She flooded very, very quickly, indicating a large hole. When that happened, we had lost the ship. The bow eventually came ashore near Waldport. It was later towed out to sea and sunk. The stern, though, remained in Coos Bay, mired in the sand. Initially, everyone decided an on-site dismantling of the wreck was impossible, but in June of 2008, a salvage company, Titan Marine, decided the stern section was stable enough to allow for two horizontal platforms. They would be named the Carlissa A and Carlissa B. Over many months, the crew cut the new Carissa into pieces, small enough for safe removal. They were lifted to the barges with cranes and the last of the wreck was finally removed in December 2008. The weather the past couple of days has, uh, has prevented us from leaving, but uh, we've got a weather window today. But there was no joy in Coos Bay. In fact, the townspeople, with a perverse sort of pride, had come to think of the new Carissa as their own. In their eyes, it wasn't a hazard or an eyesore. It was history. Coos Bay's history, and tied to a maritime tradition that stretched back to before Oregon was part of the Union. But as shipwrecks go, the new Carissa was second rate. There were no tales to tell of pirate booty or buried treasure, just ruin and rust. <laughs>